Today we're at Berto shop. Just fitting some new wheels on the vet. This thing looks so good. Look at that. The T's are still hard, but the bellies are something else. I'm just waiting on the tires to come, and then whenever we throw the tires on, put it all back together. See how it looks once uh, we get them installed. Boy Louise came in clutch, grabbed the tires for your boy. Now to get them installed. Situation? Not this, but that's my old rear tire. This is the new one. A little girthy. Pretty badass. But anyway, as you can see, this side's not on, and we have all these lug nuts here because we can't just find the right one. But the boys are off to the store real quick. There we go. Sheesh. My boys are off to the store real quick to get the right lug nuts so we can put this bad boy together. But once we put them on, I'll show you guys what we'll be working with. Had to run to a store and wipe out the store. Some lug nuts. Took them all. Now time to install them. for some uh, test passes. So, the other day I did a burnout. I don't know what happened. Broke the training. It's part of the game, racing testing whatever shit happens but it's gonna be off to the dealer hopefully get it warranted out and yeah um i don't know how long the car's gonna be down but i'll get it back up and running beast ass car it is what it is everything's fixable i just have bad luck but it is what it is driver error I did a burnout had it in first shifted a second these huge freaking tires that I put on. And I'll insert the video here so you can see what happened. But that's going to be the end of the video after that. See you guys later when this thing's back. And, uh, yeah. Shitty. Go home. Two for one special. Let's see what's in the box. So we're on the way to put the stock wheels on the car. Um, to put the stock wheels, drain all the E85, um, and, uh, take it to the dealer. So, hopefully they cover it under warranty, even though it's my fault, whatever, shit happens. So, get it covered, get it installed, and, uh, don't do nothing stupid. So, 
yeah, current situation sucks, shit happens, what can you do? So, it is what it is, I'm gonna get it fixed, regardless, and uh, make another hit. So, I'll uh, keep you guys posted on that. Homie Tanner came through, strained all the fuel out of the car, letting it run, put the stock tune back in this thing and uh, off to the dealer she goes. Getting my car towed to New Era Performance to do the trans. So hopefully get it back by like Tuesday. All right, so right now we're heading down to uh, New Era to uh, drop off the wheels, the, the Bellex with the skinnies because the stock tires that were on there um are trash and they're gonna tune the car so what's it called um i'm gonna get over there they already installed the trans and i'm gonna throw it on the dyno just to uh make sure the trans is all fine and stuff what's it called um anyway i had took it to the dealer for the warranty and they tried to get it warranted, but I guess one of the GM managers saw the mods on the car and didn't want to do it for whatever reason. So, if you're buying a used car with mods, like, and you think you have warranty, you don't. So, yeah, shitty. Unless you put the car back to 100% stock, which it's not going to happen because I don't have any of the stock parts. Yeah. Anyway, that was a whole shit show. So, huge shout out to Jessica, New Era, and Modern Nia 5 for getting it done so quick. I literally, I, when did I take it to them? I took it to them Friday, which was yesterday morning. They pulled the trans out at like about 12.30 this morning. Fuck you, asshole. Um, I just cut that guy off because I was going too fast, as you can see. Uh, 12.30 this morning, they pulled the trans. Then this morning, they built the trans. And they installed it a few hours ago. Or they might still be installing it as we speak. But anyway, they need the wheels to get the car on the dyno. So they can do some pulls or whatever. But, uh... Um, yeah so we're on the way there right now it's like a hundred mile drive so i had to borrow the sister's whip because i ain't got no car to put them in and uh yeah so 100 miles nothing but driving then another 100 miles back home it might be done tonight if so, the sister's car is getting towed home because I'm going to just send the tow truck with it and I'm going to drive the vet back if I can. If not, sorry. If not, then we'll have to come back home, drive back out again tomorrow, pick the car up. So whatever it is, I'm going to have the car back by tomorrow the latest. So. Got to thank God, thank everything for making things happen, getting things done quick. Um, yeah, I mean, I have, I've had the car for like two weeks, maybe three, and I only drove it the first week. I drove it, I picked the car up Friday night, and then I broke the car Friday night. So yeah, shit happens race car stuff trying to do burnouts and whatnot on brand new 345 Mickey Thompson tires so enough of me ranting I'm gonna go pick up the car or go drop off these wheels then pick up the car and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit um, so six 30 or something like that but 
car runs good my meth pump gave out so couldn't get it tuned but it's running it's driving it's all that matters to get that fixed um probably do a couple more mods before i throw it back on the dyno and uh yeah oh i also added some 15 or 12 millimeter spacers up front so now the wheel sits pretty flush and yeah but i'm gonna take my ass to sleep and uh i'll give you guys another video once uh get this thing back on the dyno so good night boys